Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. Welcome to our channel. And when I say our, I mean me, you, you, I, us, our channel. Welcome. I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time here with me. If you saw the title, this is a Dollar Tree haul. It's not a very big one, but I did want to share with you all why. Because sharing is caring. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I was super excited. Actually, Wildfire was with me on this shopping haul, and she's the one that actually found them for me. I told you all I loved the faux fur, scrunchy, scunchy, scoonchies, however you want to say it, tomato, tomato, I don't care. She found two more of the little fur scrunchies or ponytail holders for me in this like white beige fur and then this like really, really light gray fur. And if you remember, the one that I found and picked up was like a brown color, like a teddy bear brown color. So I was super excited to have found those. Then from the same brand, I found these hair clips. I've been using these a lot since I cut off all my hair, the little snap clips. And I like these because they had like a wave to them. And I love the colors because they're very neutral. They're not like real pastel-y or very vibrant and bright. They're neutral. They can go with everything. So I was super excited to find those as well. And I should have picked up two because I have a tendency of losing one out of the colors all the time. But I didn't. I only picked up one of them. Next item, I picked this up for my granddaughter. I have Littles. I don't personally have Littles. My Littles are all now grown women. But I do have Littles that would benefit from this item that I'm about to share with you. I'm still looking for uh, the solid blue one. I looked at about six stores in my area and I've had no luck. So worst case scenario, I did pick up two of these, an air and a spare for my granddaughter. Um, I guess my grandson can use one and my granddaughter can use the other because I only did buy just two. Just two. These are excellent. These are from Lair 8. These little bonnets, little hats. The good thing about these, though, is that it has the UV, in this case, UPF 40 plus. So it protects from the sun. So when they open this up, and I love the fact, too, that it's got the little Velcro attachment that goes underneath their neck. So when they put this on and the little bonnet is covering this part right here, gives them shade, it's also giving them UV protection. Now you can understand why I wanted one for my grandson so bad. Um, I don't know if this would actually work for my seven-year-old grandson. It might. Um, so in that case, I'd probably end up buying four of them, an air and a spare for each of them if I felt that it fit him. And I love that it has like the little logo right there as well. This must be a closeout from a bigger name brand store. So that is on my hunt list to find the boys ones. Again, can the boys use pastel confetti? Yeah, who cares, right? But I would like to find the blue ones. So there's that. Now, if you've seen a recent Dollar Tree haul for me, I don't know which one it is, to be honest with you. I showed these nail polishes that I picked up. They're from, maybe it's Maybelline. Um, they're called Fast Gel. And I picked it up in the red. This like beige, pinky color. Now they need to be shook up. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay, yay. I know, so sad, right? Elvis's birthday and then Lisa Marie passes away shortly after. Very sad. But they have more money than I'll ever have, so I can't be too sad. You know what I mean? That's life. Life in the fast lane. So I'm about to lose your mind. Life in the fast lane. So anyway, uh, there's a purple one. It is in another bag, probably over there waiting to be shown. Um, my oldest, I actually had bought these for wildfire, okay? My oldest daughter saw them sitting on the table because I was getting the stuff ready to send to wildfire. I'll bring them up close while I tell you the story. And she was like... Are, are these for me or who are they for? And I said, well, they're for wildfire. And she was like, oh, well, because I kind of like them. And I go, well, if you like them, then have at it. I can look for more. And can I tell you, she swatched every single one of these and it is full coverage almost in the first swipe. She said to tell you all two thumbs up. So much so that I had to go out and find another set for her because she loved it so much. Um, so if you see these out there, Maybelline Fast Gel, 
I only saw four colors, a red, a purple, uh, like a taupey beige, and then this like light pink. Those are the only ones that I found, but she told me to tell all of you, friends and family to the channel, two thumbs up. So there's that. Next, I found these um, Texpressions. You get 20 bandages and the little plastic case with the carabiner, I think that's what it's called, to carry it. Now, I've already had to use one of these band-aids. I'm going to show you. I pulled my skin. Can you see right there? I pulled my skin from the, what is this called? The cuticle. I pulled off the cuticle and then ripped down. It's not that it was bleeding, but it was burning. Everything that I touched or leaned against, my finger was on fire. So I went ahead and opened up the package and I used this Band-Aid right here. And I'm going to tell you something. The quality of the Band-Aids are not the best, okay? They're not. I'm going to be super honest with you. But just the fact that you get 20 Band-Aids in case of an emergency, number one. Number two, you get the clear plastic container with the carabiner to put on a diaper bag, on a purse, on a travel bag, uh, in a glove compartment box, whatever you, wherever, whatever you carry with you, you can put it in and have it and have them be secure in this plastic container. That is what is worth the $1.25. So I literally picked up these for stocking stuffers. This is going for everybody's vehicle. So I bought one for everybody's car to put in the glove box and then for the diaper bags and then for the individual people. This is a good, good, good buy. And there was tons of these at every store that I went to that night, that night. That was not today though. That was quite a few days ago. I just want to make that clear in case somebody is watching in my area. There was tons of them when I was there, but that was probably four or five days ago, maybe longer. Don't quote me. Next up, Wildfire found these. I was not going to haul them, to be honest with you. And she was like, no, they're cute. And I mean, people could be looking for them. So they have the new Be Pure Hydrating Lipstick. And these are the two shades. They do these like just about every season at this point. So I'm not even sure if it's actually a closeout or if it's like a Greenbrier product. But here's the two shades. It's like this pinky and then this light pinky. This has more like red to it. And then they have just the clear rose lip balm right there. And I'll show you the packaging because I will say that that's what Wildfire was like. Well, you have to show the packaging because they're so cute. And they are cute. Um, okay, who wanted the lips? Hold on. Let me try to turn the packaging. Okay, so this one, which is the pinky color. Hold on, I've got this. The pinky color. Come on, Karen, get your life in order over here. She's has the little cherries, tiny little cherries. The reddish pink that has more red tones to it have the little lips all over it. And then your clear rose lip balm is like the pink and white stripe. Pink and pink and pink stripe, shall I say? Pink and pink striped. It almost looks like Victoria's Secret colors. So those are out there and available. They had tons of these at every single Dollar Tree. Some of them, they had them actually in the makeup aisle. Other places, they had them over in the Valentine's gift giving section, which is where I found the little puzzle pieces. If you see over here, I found, there went that. Um, and it was the same one, right? It was the lips again. Somebody really wants those lips. I'm not sure who, or is it these lips that you want? Mm -hmm. Just joking. Um, next up, stationary aisle. I found these wheat barrel pins. Okay, and I found them. I don't know. I went ahead and picked up both of them because I was like, maybe it's different colors. Maybe it's black ink and blue ink because it doesn't say on the packaging. But it's these wheat barrel pins. You get two in each package. It's got the Kind logo at the top, but do not be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. Kind is a new brand or a new name that Dollar Tree is uh, putting stuff out under. So it's not like you found a jackpot name brand. So I picked it up in this green speckled and this like grayish speckled wheat barrel pins. If anybody's tried these out, let me know. And if we have time at the end, I might try them myself. I have a little napkin here that I can write on. And then they also had from the Kind brand again, Dollar Tree brand. It's Greenbrier. Don't get hysterical. 
it is a paper barrel pin. And these are also speckled. A speckled blue, a speckled green, and like a speckled sand color. They're just pretty themselves, to be honest with you. And these kind of look like wrapping paper rolls. I don't know. Maybe we're going to be kind to the earth and try to do recyclable stuff at Dollar Tree. Now, you see that I found this one and this one. Okay? There was only two. It was on that glass roundy round with the wood. Round and round. We love it fine and we just give it time. There was only those two. But I've been mindful thinking... Aha, uh -huh. when you're in the candle department, be looking to see if they have more because these are excellent quality. I don't even know how to tell you. Um, I've seen some of the Dollar Tree items I've been buying for seven years now. Sometimes the paint job's not good. Sometimes the ceramic is not good. We're paying a dollar. Now we're paying five quarters. But it's not, it's not perfect items. These are perfect. I mean, they are... It doesn't get any better than these. I, you would have thought I picked those up at Target for $3 or $5, honestly. I, I'm giving these right here two thumbs up. Props. Good. But then I found these. So I'm trying to... What's the word I want to say? I'm going to be mindful of the fact that I'm going to be decorating this for the different holidays. Whatever holidays I can decorate with, shall I say. And I saw these, the two-tone. I've seen everybody and their mother and their sister and their cousin and their brother and their boyfriend and their lovers hauling these about months ago, four, five, six months ago. Um, and I never had picked them up because I did not have a use for them. I don't do candles, right? I don't know why I wasn't thinking pedestals at the time. Um, so I went ahead and picked up two of these. And you can see what I'm talking. Oh, shoot. You can see what I'm talking about on the paint job. Now, I know it's supposed to be an ombre effect, but I mean, you see how it got sloppy. It was supposed to only go to there, and then whenever you go over here, it goes down deeper. Deeper, David, deeper. Um, and totally different design. It's not the exact design. Is it the exact design? No, that's not the exact design. That's This one is different. I wonder if they got that as a closeout. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to be hunting for things like this to use in my background, right? Not right now. It's too cluttered. I understand right now. But that's what I got those for. So there's that. Next up. Oh, I thought of Lynette. Cheaply Chic. If you're not familiar with her channel, I absolutely love her. I feel, I feel so bad. I did not even know that she had moved to a totally different state because I've been so MIA. Cheaply chic. I'll put her in an I card right there. Go check her out. You absolutely will love her. I love her. Still feel bad that I didn't know she moved. Um, she loves the VW buses. And when I saw this, I thought of her, number one. Number two, um, I thought of me as well because it was just too stinking cute. And... I may, 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 may be going on a trip coming up here soon. Well, not too soon, but where I might need actual luggage tags. Because usually I travel when I travel, it's in my own vehicle. So I don't have to worry about my stuff getting mixed up with somebody else's. But look at these cute, and they're huge. Look at my hand. It's a little luggage tag, but it's like a VW like bus. Not exactly, but I mean, it's cute, right? Look. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Anyway, this I found over in the, like, where they have, like, the samples, like, the sample size shampoos and the hand creams and, like, the travel size toothbrushes and toothpaste. They had this sitting over there. I hope it's, I hope it's more sturdy than that once you put on your luggage for this trip that I'm going on. But anyway. I picked up that for that reason. Next up, we're going to go back to Valentine's Day. I picked up stickers. Sticka, sticka, stickers. Pot stickers. Nail stickers. Stickers. You haven't heard that in a while, right? <laughs> you thought I forgot about it, huh? <laughs> no. These are the ones that 
like do like they're puffy and a little crunchy. You hear? Well, they were crunchy a minute ago. Hold on. Regardless, some of these have um, some of them are shakers, some of them are not. This one, out of all of the shaker ones, crunchy shaker ones, I, this one's my favorite. This one and the next one I'm going to share with you. Look at this, how stinking cute this one is. It's so stinking cute. This one has 19 pieces, but look, I'm going to bring them up close. Look how stinking cute these are. I love these. Together forever. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. Okay, then this is my second pick as favorite. It's all the little cacti. Oh, and the little succulents. And they have little faces either on the little plants or on the little pots. It's a lot of glare, right? Let me try it like that. Oh, they're so sticky. Those are my two favorite. Then this one, cute, but mm, not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. No, not my cup of tea, but it's cute. No, and I got them to show you all. <gasps> and then I'm going to exchange them for something that I do want, because I don't want these. Next are these. It's got the banner. What is this supposed to be? Forever love. What is that supposed to be? Just... Like a cloud or something? Oh, I guess it's a banner and it says something in it. I just can't read it. These, mm, definitely not my cup of tea. But there was four of the crunchy shakeries that I wanted to share with you all. So I picked them up to share with you all. Next up, we have the flat stickers. And these are the ones that I actually use when I mail out cards. I use these either to seal, seal the envelopes or I use them inside of the cards. I absolutely, absolutely love this first one. I'm going to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and last. I should have picked up two of these. That's how much I love it. And if I spot them again, I will pick up another set. I will. Look how stinking cute these are. You get 29 pieces. The macarons, the birds, the XOXO, the love, the book. There's my XO, because I only do XO. The typewriter, the ring, the diamond heart, the little bike, the key with the flowers, the little strawberry. This one, so stinking cute. I'm going to be on the hunt for a second pack of that. 40 pieces is the next one. This is my second favorite because it's got alpacas or llamas. They pretty much look the same, but I love it. Love it. Love it. So stinking cute. Here's my third favorite. This is kind of like kawaii. Like it's the foodsy, the treats, sweets and treats, you know. It's got the XOXO, the donut, the strawberry, the pretzel, the cupcake. The little piece of cake. Your little ice cream. Your little sundae. Your little macaron. A little bit of everything. 27 pieces on this one. This one I love also. This one actually matches the little pet signs that we picked up or that I picked up. This is 29 pieces and here's what it looks like. You, me, me, you. Mason jar with the hearts, the two little kitty cats together, the little envelopes, the little balloons, the little cat in the cup that says I love you, the little kitty with the gift, the little present, the camera, the box of heart chocolates, the little cupcake, this little guy here holding all those little heart so stinking cute then of course for the youngers for the littles or for the adults that love these cutesy things we've got the monkey the the rhino the flamingo the raccoon the hedgehog the zebra the crocodile um your little giraffe the snail at the bottom along with the hearts and the flowers that one is a 27 piece as well then there's a 27 piece that's the dinosaurs, and I'm showing them to you in my order of favorites. Rawr. And then the last one, my least favorite, you get 34 pieces. It's just the hearts, just plain flat hearts. These though, even though they're my least favorite as far as cutesy, I still like them. And again, these, can you see how they put them in the bag? Do you see they've got like a wave to them now because of the way they shoved them in the bag? 
So I'm going to have to put them under something heavy to flatten them. These are the ones that I absolutely love, though, to use to seal envelopes. When I send out cards, um, what I do is I tuck this in with my postage stamps. And then whenever I'm closing up things, that's what I use to seal. And that last one, again, 34 pieces. Now, I picked up a reusable bag. I use reusable bags like nobody's business. I love them. Um, whenever I do my Big Lots haul, you'll see that I picked up a reusable bag there too because they had them marked down. Um, I just picked up this one that says B positive. And it's got the B and it's got your cursive B positive in the white. And these are from Juncture. So most all Dollar Trees get these. And look how wide they open. I love these bags. And actually the first person that turned me on to this style bag, I had never seen them before until I went to visit her and her local Dollar Tree. And she said, just let's get one of these bags to put your things in. And I was like, okay. And um, that was Paloma from the Bates house. If you're not familiar with her channel, I'll put her in an iCard right here too so you can check her out. I must be dehydrated. Look at my fingers. It's like if I sat in a hot bath for hours and I literally don't even own a bathtub. I only have showers in my house. Hmm. I probably need to start drinking more water, right? Can't stand water. But anyway, we're moving on. Anyway, the Bates house. Check her out, Paloma. That's my Bethel, my Texas Bethel. I love her so much. You will love her also. Let her know I sent you over. Now, so many people started telling me in the comments section, you will know from the serial number or some kind of number on the back of it that you've got repeats. What number? I don't know. So, but by the time I read all the comments, the packaging I had already thrown away, ladies and gentlemen. They were, it was in the trash. So, do you mean... This number, do you mean that number? Let me back up. Do you mean this number? You guys have to tell me what number you mean. So I've gotten four or five of these, two of these, and then none of this one. So I'm thinking like, is she rare? How come I haven't found her? So I went ahead and picked up another one. Fingers crossed that I get the one that I am missing. Tore the paper because of course I did. Of course we tore up the paper. I got her! <laughs> oh my gosh, I got her. I got her, I got her, I got her. So I have all three of them now. Yay! Where did I move them to? Oh, they're right up there. You're not going to be able to see them, but they're right up there on the white cabinet. I have all three now. Yay! Okay, let me pull out the paper, even though it rips, so we can see what she stamps, because I've showed you what the other two stamp. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. She stamps a rainbow. Taste the rainbow. How stinking cute. Okay, now my whole day's made, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I wanted was to have all three of them. Boom, bada bing. Ask and you shall receive. Now, Real quick, I'm just going to throw in here the 99 cents only store buys that I got because literally I walked in there and I was so disappointed at the prices. They have raised the prices and the stuff, the quality was not good. So I literally picked up four items in total. I want to share it with you now. Ready? For $1.99, I picked up these two cups for my granddaughter. The one with the conversation hearts. The one with the rainbows and hearts. And the only reason why I picked up two instead of just getting her one, which I could have just got the conversation heart one. I love rainbows. You guys know that. Taste the rainbow. I love rainbows. I don't think my daughter does, though. Her mom, she has a thing about rainbows. So, probably because she had to grow up seeing rainbows all over the place because I love rainbows. I don't know. So, I wasn't sure if she was going to like this cup. So, I went ahead and picked up that one. If she says no, then I'll use it for my sweet tea or water or something. And then I got the conversation of hearts for her. Now you see what I'm talking about? When I showed you my target haul, I showed you the cup that I picked up there. I don't know which one I think is better for her. Next up though, I picked up generic Q-tips. So basically cotton swabs. They're cotton swabs because unless they're the name brand Q-tips, they're not called Q-tips. I picked up cotton swabs. It was a thousand and I don't know the price. It was not 99 cents. It was not 199. I think it was 
$4.99? I don't even know. Don't quote me. And I and you know what? I had the receipt and I don't know what I did with it. I honestly don't know. And these just to just to reiterate and make sure. I think that says $1.99. Was it one? Yeah. The tumblers here are $1.99. And it says that these tumblers are only available at the 99 cent store. 99 cents. The last thing I picked up for 99 cents. And let me tell you. I dug around to see if there was any more of these because I knew that the minute I found them that Wildfire was going to want to set. I love them. I'm probably going to pass them on to her even though I love them so much. But these are the Frozen 2 Tin Scented, Scented, and this is in Grape Scent, um, as far as I know. Oh, one of the 10 Magical Scents is Grape. Um, they're just the colored pencils, but I thought they were so stinking cute. And I still, to this day, have my youngest daughter's Weenie the Pooh colored pencils. They came, like, in a plastic case that opens and closes. I still have them to this day, and... She's, she was born in 95, so how old is she now? I don't know, do the math, 26? She'll be 27 this year, I think. I still have those that I bought for her when she was little. So I picked up the Frozen 2 ones, and then here are the magical scents that you get. Blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, cotton candy, s'mores, grape, um, cocoa, maple, Sherbert and Sugar Plum. Do they really smell like that? I don't know. Somebody had already opened these as well. Shit. I didn't check. Let me show you, though, out of the package. Like, so you don't... So you, to get rid of the glare. Look how stinking cute they are. They're, I just thought they were so cute. Look at the colors. So, pick those up and that is it for the 99 cent only store, ladies and gentlemen. And that is also it for the Dollar Tree. But I do want to open a blind bag with you guys. I've been picking these up for my granddaughter. These are the Peppa Pig mystery bows. Like, um, you can you can wear these. So, like, you can get several of these different little bows. And I've opened one before. And can I tell you something? Or maybe I opened two. I don't know where they are. Honestly, I can't remember if I already sent them to her or not. So I can't tell you if I'm getting a repeat because I don't know where they went. But I did pick up several of these in case you wanted to know. Oh, this one's so stinking cute. I just opened it. I'm sorry, I forgot. I should have opened it on camera, right? Look, this is the one I got. It's got Peppa all over it with like little hearts. It needs a little finessing. You need to, we need to fix it up a little bit. But this is what it looks like. See, this needs to come down. I'll have to iron it with the little iron that I have from Cricut. So, and it's got the little clip in the back. And so the one that we got, I would say is the one at the top. Hmm. No, I don't know which one we got. There are the ones that you, hold on, here are the ones that you can get. Is it this one maybe? I think it's that one. Maybe this one? I don't know. Anyway, I got a few of these so that we can kind of open up. I'm going to keep them all here until we have them completely open so we can see if we get repeats or if I get different ones. But I did pick those up for my granddaughter. Granddaughter. I have a granddaughter, and I thought those would go cute for her. Um, she's just a little over a year right now, so it'll be perfect timing to put up her little hair. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and close. I hope that you like this Dollar Tree slash 99 cents only store haul. Again, it was just a few items. I don't. I hope you don't mind that I combined them together. Please let me know what your favorite item was in this haul video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also... Could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, we would love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button right there down below. There is a bell next to that that you can click so that you receive notifications as to when I upload a new video. 
you all don't miss out on any of the fun. Also, sharing is caring. If you have social media and you would like to either share this video or my channel with your friends and family, I would love for you to be able to do that. It helps me here immensely on YouTube. So know that I appreciate that as well. And of course, for now, goodbye from Texas.